Tanya Shaw here from Ascend Fitness. I want to take a quick second to introduce myself and the rest of the Ascend Fitness team. I'm thrilled that you're joining us today for a simple six exercise sequence that you can do at home, at the gym, or whatever you like to get yourself into better shape. So let's get started. The first exercise is the basic squat. Here, Gord is demonstrating the squat. To do a squat, you want to make sure that your weight is on your heels. Your knees should stay in line with your toes. And you should pretend like you're sitting back right into a chair, so your bum's going to stick back a little bit. And now, just from the side, notice Gord's chest is staying open. Again, weight on the heels and only going down as far as you feel comfortable. Here's a modifi modification of the squat, it's the wall sit. Just sliding down into a squat position on the wall, making sure you're staying within pain-free range of motion. And another modification is the sit to stand, standing in front of a chair. It's a really great way to learn how to squat. You want to sit slowly back into the chair and then use your leg strength to get back up. The next exercise is the push up. So, the first variation is the box push up, starting in a four point kneel or a box position. You're going to slowly lower your chest down towards the floor. The pivot point is on the hips for the box position. You want to keep your abdominals engaged the whole time. Moving on to the knees, which is slightly harder. Hands should stay in line with the chest at all times. And elbows should come out about 30 to 75 degrees. And then finally, the toe push up, which is the hardest variation we're going to do today. Avoid push-ups altogether if you have shoulder pain and never sacrifice proper form. One modification of the push-up is the wall push-up. So you're following the same basic technique as the floor push-up, except your hands are on the wall. You can also use a countertop. And to make this one harder, just move your feet back a little bit further. It just increases the load on the upper body. The third exercise is the row. You're going to start with your arms nice and straight. And as you pull back, you want to really focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together. As you pull back, make sure your shoulders stay down. They often like to creep up. And you want to keep your wrists nice and straight as well. Like all exercises, you want to really focus on keeping your abdominals engaged. We're showing the row with a band. Um, you can also do it with a cable column at the gym. Or you can also do the bent over row with weights. And the fourth exercise is the hip bridge, an amazing glute or buttock exercise, lying on your back with your knees bent. You want to really squeeze your buttock muscles to lift your hips up. You should feel this exercise in your glutes or your buttocks and not so much in your lower back or your hamstrings. If you want to feel your buttock muscles a little bit more, sometimes it helps to touch your, your glutes and just poke them a little bit to help to activate the muscles. The fifth exercise is the opposite arm, opposite leg raise, starting in a box position or the four point kneel. You want to really engage your abdominals. You want to keep your back in a nice neutral position. And you're going to extend opposite arm, opposite leg. Only reach out as far as you can while still keeping your back in a nice neutral alignment. Sometimes if you reach up too high, you're going to start to arch your back too much. 
You can also pretend like you're balancing a glass of water on your back. That really helps to focus on the balance. And the final exercise in the circuit is the plank. The plank is an abdominal exercise. In this variation, we're doing it on the knees. So you want to start in push-up position, but on your forearms. Abs engage the whole time, and the spine should be neutral. Your elbows should be underneath your shoulders. And here, Spencer's moving on to the toes. And you should not feel any lower back pain at all, only in your abdominals. I hope you enjoy these exercises. Be sure to check out the handouts as well. And for more information, go to Ascend Fitness Coaching dot com. We'd love to hear from you.